The paramount chief of the Adan traditional area, Nene Abram Kabudi Ted, led a team of sub-chiefs and elders from the traditional council and staff of Electrochem Ghana Limited to inspect ongoing construction works on the Songo Lagoon. The construction of 11 salt mining pans for each of the 35 communities living in the Ada enclave is expected to lessen the burden of residents who have over the years relied on orthodox artisanal mining. Speaking to City News, the Corporate Communications and Public Relations Manager of Electrochem Ghana Limited, Hekin Ajase Kujo, noted the project was aimed at restoring the livelihood of the residents. And the arrangement is that for all these communities along the concession, we we'll have plans de dedicated to miners in those communities. And uh, the first one you just saw is this dedicated to those in Goy, Lolonia, and communities in that enclave. But be be behind me is the, the portion of the Songo Lagoon. Uh, it actually dried up, uh, com dried out completely and efforts are ongoing by Electrochem to restore it. He believes the move by Electrochem Ghana Limited will bring some lasting harmony between the company and residents who are opposed to their operations. Arrangement to ensure that what they were doing previously is still continuous and this will be uh, more structured because we are giving them a structured and well-engineered pans and we'll continue to fill the pans with uh, brine, which is seawater. Uh, before, before now, they were basically relying on rain uh, which which of course you know uh, uh, we don't have rain throughout the year uh, others were relying on well water from wells to mine but this time around we are giving them brine we supply we supply them brine as and when uh, they, they, they are done mining the mankralo of the Adan traditional area Nene Agude Obitredi said who spoke on behalf of the Paramountcy expressed hope in the investment made by Electrochem Ghana Limited to satisfy the master plan of the Songo project, stating that successive governments had not lived to expectations of the traditional rulers and residents of Adan. We just came from the other side where Electrochem has been able to dredge it and pump water into it. This other half and all the way down there it's a dry land, and we are standing in the middle of the lagoon. This is not what it should be. The plan is that the Songo Lagoon will be filled with water, and the mass of land around it will be used for pans. The water from these places will be drawn into those pans to make salt. Now, there is no water in the lagoon. So where can we get water for those pans? It is the wisdom of the Adan Traditional Council that this cannot remain like that, which is why we pleaded with government to bring electrochem. The Songo Salt Project has been the subject of fierce litigation between some residents of Adan and Electrochem Ghana Limited a subsidiary of the Magdan group of companies for some time now over the implementation of a master plan. A number of companies attempted salt mining in the lagoon but left the area due to some challenges. The concession, which spans an area of about 40,000 kilometers, was handed to Electrochem Ghana Limited about a year ago. It is expected to revive the potential of the Songo Lagoon. The company has since commenced operation, but this was not without resistance from some concerned residents who are aggrieved about the contract terms. Despite these challenges, the company says it is resolute to ensure the community benefits from the natural resource. Thus, it is constructing sizable community plans for each community to undertake mining. Any government comes, they look at it, they see that it's not feasible, and they throw it away. This has been the problem of Adan. Everybody comes, they look at it, the thing is not feasible, they leave it, and that is it, you see. So what we are having now, you yourselves, you have seen it. Fill the thing with uh, uh, water, he's doing it. Let the people within the community also have a place. Now we should have been doing our own community plans, but he's doing it for us, for free. 
The Paramount chief, Nene Abram Kabudi, said was pleased with the work done by Electrochem Ghana Limited so far. 